Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jarek Defiler and welcome back to A Patient Gamer Plays Divinity Original Sin 2. We are on the boat now. The Elvenwood boat. And we are arriving to a scene of horror as many seekers and magisters are laying dead around everywhere pretty much. And a lot of the guys that we save, like Mattis over here, he's gone. And there's uh, Cloud, he's gone too unfortunate but we got it guys so that's cool so let's go and move on here see what they got on them nothing really cloud no so close to escape thanks for the loot cloud what's this Ooh, diary today is a monumentous one so monumentous in fact that i've decided to start keeping a diary to record my time on the Lady Vengeance, so that one day, should I have a family, my, my children and their children may know of my small involvement in these momentous times. So to begin, today the Divine Lady Dallas, Hammer of the Order, arrived on board. She swept by in all her momentous gloriousness. He likes momentous. And I fancy that as she glanced at me, a tiny smile twitched at the corner of her mouth. The Hammer smiled at me, possibly. Then she went to her stateroom, and there she spoke to the doors. Yeah. I did not hear the whole co of the conversation, but I believe she spoke of the principle of fortitude, which is, of course, an important part of both the ethos of the order and of maritime construction. The door seemed suitably inspired and open for her. She glided, glued, <laughs> inside, and we have not seen her since. A momentous day. Orders, we have orders. The ship is to see action. An evil band of rebels has landed on the island, and we are to destroy their ship, and perhaps them too. Tomorrow I shall recount the story of our glorious victory. Fortitude is the key. Fortitude shall open the doors. Okay. There's a hint that we will need for the future. I remember this one. His name was Kirbin. There goes Kirbin. That's sad. Kirbin was pretty good. Good guy. But now, he is lost to us. And I gave him this stuff. I sold it to him. I don't know why he uh, kept the crappy staff, but you know, whatever. That's a level 8 at least. Level 8 staff. It's not bad. And chain lightning. Huh. Oh, my friends. What's this? Don't go any further, Godwoken. We need you alive. Ooh, munchy crunchies. Frost grenade, not bad. Alright, we'll ask what's going on. Tell her to stand aside. You'll go where you please. Take your leave. Ask her what's going on. The ship won't sail. We had orders to search every corner of it and figure out what's blocking us. It's hewn from elven livewood. I thought I could communicate with it, but... She glances over towards a smoldering pile of ash on the deck nearby. Something is nestled within it. Fragments of scorched bone. That was Brendan. When the ship wouldn't answer my call, he touched the figurehead, and it attacked him, without warning. He burned, like he was made of parchment. Nice to meet you, Brandon. Say that you'll be careful. Ask if she learned anything useful before the figurehead attacked. Express your condolences about her dead compatriot. Take your leave. Let's express our condolences. Her eyes flick over to the smoldering ashes once again. Her head held at a despondent angle. Thank you. We were held captive together on this ship. He kept my spirits up. Now he's dead. Ask if she learned anything useful. Nothing. The ship is live wood. That much is clear. But I couldn't communicate with it. The Magisters must have done something, warped it somehow. I just don't know what. Say that you'll be careful. Just remember what I said, Godwoken. If you die, then this was all for nothing. Okie dokie. Appreciate the catapult. Ooh, ballista, rather. Nice. Alright, let's go up here. Another dead magister to loot. Thank you for the money. Alright, let's head over to the front. Or not the front, the back. What's the back? The stern? I think. I don't know. I don't know ship anatomy. But we are getting some pretty decent goodies here from these people. Oh, sorry, sound. Poor guy. He was just an innocent little thing. 
not the fault of his master turning him into a monster. Uh, ooh, this heals or cures disease. So it's probably good to keep Spare around. Spare me, Gareth. We got what we came for. This is what success looks like. Yeah. I won't see them tossed over. Such a good voice actor. Not here. We'll hold a proper service. Both of them. Everybody. What's his face and so and so would want us to get this ship sailing before all else. They died for those Godwoken, after all. You know their names, Malady. Can't you even pay them that much respect? It's a nice looking cape. Gareth inhales sharply, then catches you out of the corner of his eye and smiles barely. Our guest stirs. Welcome, Godwoken. Glad to see you safely aboard. Thanks. Ah, our undead Godwoken. I had nearly forgotten. Note the number of bodies littering the deck. Ask how many were lost in the battle. Nod a greeting and say you're eager to set sail. How long do they plan to remain at anchor? Bid them farewell. Um. Nee. Let's nod a greeting and say we're eager to set sail. No. Let's let's go the nice route. Note the number of bodies. Too many. One too few, actually. Alexander, he's alive. Tell her you saw him fall with your own eyes. What happened? Keep your calm. Ask where he is now. Eh, what happened? Apparently, you didn't hit hard enough. I kicked his butt. He's in the hold below decks. Unconscious, but alive. Say you'd better get a move on before the Order realizes he's still at large. Ask what plan they plan to do with Alexander. Take your leave. Ask what they plan to do with Alexander. Question him. Someone has been hunting your kind, and Alexander fancies himself the only Godwoken worthy of ascending. As far as we know, you may even be the last still alive. If Alexander is guilty, he'll face justice. Say you get better get a move on before the Order realizes you're still at large. Take your leave. Yeah. Yes, we certainly had better, but the ship won't move. She's mute. We need to free her tongue. Ask if you might take a crack at turning the wheel. Say you've never known a ship to speak in the first place. Frown. Does that mean this is a live wood ship? Yeah, sure. Quite expedient, isn't it? Dallas seems to have made a ship out of an ancestor tree, then found a way to bind the spirit within to her alone. That means only she can control it. Unless we can find a way to break the bond. Ask if an elf might be able to speak with the spirit within the ship. Ask if they have any leads on how to gain control of the ship. Eh, I'll do the elf. A true flesh and blood elf might. I cannot say what fortune the likes of you would have. But whatever you do, hurry it up. The longer we sit here, the higher the chance the Order will get their hands on you. We won't let that happen. Yes, yes, and all that. <laughs> Ask if they have any ideas or any leads on how to gain control of the ship. The Seekers the survivors of us have been combing the ship from bow to rudder it hasn't been easy this place is laced with dark magic these seekers have such a limited skill set we lost a man in the search malady might not appreciate that but i do and i hope you do too yeah. i'm sure the god woken will be able to get the ship moving they kind of like to feel useful don't they Sure. Say you'll do your best. Smile and say you're still waiting to find out what she does other than standing around being smug. Say you'll look, take a look around. You're eager to get far away from Fort Joy. I do my best. It's your be best. positive. It'll save us all. <sighs> <laughs> oh, Melody. I'm smelly. How do I get rid of smelly? Can I, I rest it away? No. What a disgusting smell. I'm sorry. Get away from me. I'm disgusting. Oh no, I'm diseased. If I talk to them, they're gonna get lower attitude. You made it, Godwoken. Good. Not all of us did, though. The sooner we leave this island behind us, the better. The bow. The Red Prince. There's Jules. Our survival hinges on getting this ship moving, Godwoken. We are searching every corner of it for anything that might help us. Okie dokie. Who could I trade with that I have a good reputation with? I think like Corbin or whatever was my best trade. Oh, Gareth. Duh. I believe I am at 100 with Gareth. Void Slayer, Worm Killer, Godwoken. 
You have many names. Let's add ship's captain to the list once we get this thing moving, shall we? Undead is a name I wasn't expecting to call you, mind. When Malady revealed the truth to me, I was unprepared. That's skank. But Lucian works in mysterious ways. It is his will that brought you to us. Tell Gareth you can't wait to get moving. What's the destination? <clears throat> Remark on his tiff with Malady. Ask about Malady. You thought she was a seeker too. Lucian, tell him it seems it's Madi is gu guiding your journey, not Lucian. Uh, let's do that one. The Divine is the avatar of all the gods, my friend. It was through his spirit, and maybe one day yours, that the Seven do speak. You may not speak to him directly, but he is always guiding you. In this, you must trust me. Yeah. Uh, ask about Malady. She's not exactly a seeker. She's not exactly an elf, either. Half demon, Meister Siva says, and I don't doubt it. I don't know how Siva came to know her, but Malady's a proper ally. She's not easy to like, but... I like her. But there are times I admire her coldness. Gareth fingers the hilt of his blade. He stares at nothing in particular before turning his gaze back to you. Remark on his teeth. I won't let the fallen be forgotten. I'd be no better than Dallas, no better than Alexander, if I just tossed their remains into the sea. We can eat them. To think that whelp spawned from greatness. He deserves no better fate than his silent monks. All this blood. Children ripped from families. Seekers ripped from me. He's down there now, guarded like some precious jewel, rather than leashed and flogged like the dog he is. Amazing to think those of us in the Order once assumed the gods were with him, and only him. That was before we found the others. Others? Ask what he means. Pause. He was in the Order, as in the Divine Order. Take your leave. That's possible. The Seekers were once part of the Order, my friend. When Lucian died, we waited. Yet Alexander never rose to divinity. And then we started to find more like him. More Godwoken. And we weren't the only ones looking. A killer had marked them too. Oh. Oh, there we go. Had to pause the recording for a second. Let's move on. The Seekers were born. We found Godwoken. Housed them. Fed them. I loved them like family. I was naive. But let's leave the past in the past and reach for what's ahead. Tell Gareth you can't wait to get moving. What's the destination? Driftwood, of course. Little fishing village. Not very welcoming, but you'll brighten it up, I'm sure. Got family near there. Not the adventuring types. For the best, really. Meister Siva's there, too. My leader. Our leader. She held the Seekers together when we had every reason to fall apart. Ask about Meister Siva. What makes her so special anyway? Wonder what was causing the Seekers to fall apart. Take your leave. Let's wonder. Gareth pauses, then shakes his head. Uh, a mistake was made. That's all I have to say on the matter. Ask about Meister Siva. Hmm. Think of her as a teacher. The powers of the Seven stir in you. She'll reveal them to you. Show you how to manipulate them. Ah. All right. Well, let's sell some creep. Um, is he worth getting up to a hundred? I don't think so. I thought, yeah. Let me see. Keep Lucian close, Godwoken. There has to be some other people I can trade with that I've already. Like her, maybe she has some money. Already checked, but yeah. If we don't escape from here. Yeah, crap. Trickery to the hammer used to control this thing. Look who we have here. The slave, no less. Nice armor. I wouldn't have bet tuppence on your survival. Yet here you are. Ask how he managed to get aboard this ship. It is quite a tale, I assure you. And the upshot of it all is that I've accomplished a goal on this horrid isle that came quite unforeseen. He's only level one. What a noob. You're intrigued. Ask if he'd be so kind as to regale you with his tale. Tell him to give you the highlights. Eh, I'm intrigued. But of course. First you must know that I'm a prince. The Red Prince. I know, I told you that. I'll give you a moment to let that sink in. You have no doubt heard the tales of certain setbacks that befell me. Yeah. Setbacks that forced me to leave the ancient empire. My empire. It was then, forced as I was to wander the wilds, that a voice first began to reach me in my dreams. 
but the voice spoke from too great a distance, too faintly to be understood. Yet I had to understand. Somehow I knew this to be of vital importance. Nod enthusiastically. Keep going. Wonder if there's a point to all this. Let's nod. I searched this island for a dreamer. One of the mystics of my kind that can travel the dream world at will. I saved his life. We're another realm just as real as our own. And so I met with Bahara in the sanctuary of Amadia. We raced through dream wastes, beset by nightmares, until we reached the voice. It turns out it was that of Brahmos the Wanderer, the greatest and most elusive dreamer of them all. He desires that I should meet him somewhere on Reaper's coast. And meet him I shall. That is where my journey takes me next. Invite him to join you. You're heading for the mainland yourself. Wish him good luck and bid him good day. Yeah, we're staying solo. Sorry, bra. Jules, let's talk to you. I won't be able to breathe easy until that island disappears over the horizon. Uh, I already talked to you. What am I talking about? Okay, let's talk to Melody. There you are. I was just thinking of you. Really? In your dreams? Probe for more information on how the ship can be controlled. Say there's a few things you'd like to ask her. It's probe for more information. This is Dallas's ship, but she can't have been the only one who could get it moving. To be too risky, and Dallas is anything but careless. There's a way to move this ship on board. I'm sure of it. Comment that there can be or there can only be so many places to look. You'd be surprised. A ship like this holds many secrets. Hopefully you can discover some these seekers might have missed. Ask where you should start the search. The figurehead has certainly caused a commotion lately. But then again, so have the doors downstairs. Everywhere you look, a hunk of wood looking to incinerate or stymie you. So there's a few things you'd like to ask her. Dying to hear them, pure breed. Ask how she knew you were undead. Say that earlier on the beach she mentioned someone who wanted to meet you, the Meister. Who did she mean? Ask her why she's helping you. Um, let's talk about the Meister. Meister Siva is one of a rare breed. She'd do anything in the name of a cause, and her cause happens to be you. Hey, yeah, lucky me. She's desperate to meet a living god woken. She'll be exceedingly pleased we're en route. You'd better not leave her waiting. She's a bit particular. Uh, she didn't answer your question. Who is this person? Yeah. She's the founder of these Seekers, and she's powerful. That means something when I say it. Your kind can reach astounding heights. Meister Siva can help you do just that. Mm -hmm. That's where we're going. A place called Driftwood. Host to putrid fish, putrid dwarves, and Meister Siva herself. You'll probably find it quite comfortable. Ah, uh, no doubt. There you are. I was just thinking of you. Dying to hear them, pure breed. That's how she knew I was undead. Malady smiles at you. Bright eyes, cruel mouth. Well, you've eschewed your pretty little mask, haven't you? And besides, I know everything. Ask her why she's helping. Her face crumples into a mask of concern. Her eyes are large and soulless. Why, because I care, of course. Thank her warmly for caring about you. Smile and say somehow you doubt that. Yeah. A bit early in our relationship to question my motives, don't you think? Yeah, not really. Okay, let's go and head on downstairs. Remember, fortitude is the link to the password. Uh, who do we want? Let's talk to Exter. I think he can trade stuff. We have to find a way to get this ship moving. We can't let the Magisters catch up with us. We're too weak to fight them again. Alrighty. Alright, he's got plenty of money. Um, what do I want? Anything worth buying, at least? No, probably not. Uh, plenty worth selling though so let's do that get rid of all this junk keeping that gonna keep that for the first aid oh oh he can't identify crap who can identify then oh yeah keeping that um I should probably get get rid of uh, that five to crit is so awesome though but other than that not it's not really worth keeping around, I don't think. Nor the poison. Um, yeah. We're going to get rid of that. Tentacle Ash, don't need, don't need, don't need. going to keep that. 
how much what am I at right now he has 2641 get rid of all the stuff that I sold already so I'm able to sell it twice which is cool <laughs> and Alexander's armor two to strength one to retribution blinding radiance skill that's pretty good but I prefer mine um, I mean it would be cool to keep that just for if I get overcumbered and then I can just keep it around and uh, use it when I need it Obviously, duh. Why else would I use it? Okay. Too much. Ooh, that's worth a lot. I need another hundred and three, couple hundred something. Why can't you identify, man? Well, I guess I'll just... Yeah, give me the starfish. I hope those don't have a really good use that I'm missing out on, and then I'm just getting rid of all of them. <laughs> Probably. Um, Alright, let's see. Yeah, it's close enough. I'm not too picky when it comes to these things. Get a quick save here. Dallas's assistant. The silent monk leans forward slightly and stares at you straight in the eyes. She seems eager for you to say something. Hey, Finn, what are you the doing here? Why are you naked? From one foot to the other. He seems eager to move. Any goodies? Mangy crunchies? Hey, we got a ring. There, there's the lucky charm. That's what that does. Just gives you random loot. Which is awesome. Alright, Finn, talk to me, baby. I was just getting used to this seafaring life. You know, we could. Ah. From the look in your eye, I gather it's time to grab my things and get back to work. No. No, not quite, man. No? No recipes? Let's eat some cheese. And some red snapper. What's in here? Eat some tomato soup. Anything else in here? Corbin stew? Nah. Okay, let's talk to who else is over here. There's the beast. We'll make our way around. Anything else in here? All that fighting will be worth less than nothing if we can't get this tub moving. Raw mutton I need for the the uh, set piece for the Act Two set piece. Melody says if we can get the ship to move, we can or go home. Not set piece, home. but just set distinctive. I'm gonna do a bit of. What is that? Yeah, whatever. Let's just keep scouring everything, seeing if there's any goodies. Ooh, panties. That's always good. I'm gonna keep those. Oh, please don't stare. It's tiresome. Ask what exactly he is. You've never seen a skeleton like him before. Ask what he's doing here. Actually, you'd rather just leave. Um. I know who he is. If you must know, there is an excavation site at the Black Pits on Reaper's Coast. I go to seek answers. You're curious. What does he hope to find at this excavation site? Smile and rest your hand on his arm. He doesn't need to hurry. You're just getting to know each other. Laugh and tell him you're not in any rush. Mostly you just want to relax and maybe have a drink. Not and say that you have your own business to get on with. Eh, let's smile and rest. Well... You see, I have a rather pressing engagement at the Black... The skeleton breaks off mid-sentence as he notices your hand. He pulls out a notebook, flicking through it, running a finger down the pages. Physical contact. Voice lowered. Coy looks. Good heavens. Is this a mating ritual? Drape your hands over your arms over his shoulder and lean in close. What if it is? Eh, well, you were going for a little more subtlety, but yes. Actually, you're not so sure about this. You prefer someone with a little more everything. Certainly not. You have no interest in romancing the bone. Of course we have to drape our arms over your shoulders. Why, that would be excellent. I have been curious about this for some time. The social interactions, the expectations, the mechanics. Yeah, we're going to bake brownies with Fane. Come now, let's begin immediately. I shall compile my notes afterwards. Fane grabs your hand and enthusiastically pulls you behind the screen. Eee. 
<laughs> I, uh, well, that was most unusual. I mean, I had read all the leading authorities on it, but I didn't think it's just that thing you did with your tibia. It was quite unexpected. Smile lazily and run your fingers along his cheekbone. That was amazing. Ah, the youthful gore split. It's one of your more inventive tricks. <laughs> Nod quietly. That wasn't quite what you predicted. You're not sure how to feel about it. Aggressively pull, pull your boots back on. Well, that was a total waste of your time. Grim and pull on your grin and pull on your boots. You seem to work well as a team. He should join you. Turn to walk away with the word. Uh, let's do number two. The guthul gore, guthul gore split. My goodness. It was certainly an experience, but I must admit I was expecting something more. Ooh, low blow. Not from you. Certainly not from you. Yeah, that's right. Better back up, son. It's just that I... Well, I felt nothing. Yeah, you're a skeleton. Neither the warmth of your touch nor the fire of your passion. I may as well have been churning butter. Shrug your shoulders. You enjoyed yourself. Oh, um, right then. What? You've never been so insulted. Pull on the last of your clothing and storm away. Yeah, I shrug my shoulders. Really? Even the part where you... My goodness. The skeleton pulls a notebook from his robes and starts scribbling. You can hear him muttering something about highly unorthodox, lack of sensation, and coccyx. <laughs> you ponder his words as you pick up the last of your belongings. You're almost sure that's what he said. Before you go, ask Fane if he'd like to come with you. You might get further if you work as a team. Eh, take my leave. Because, again, we are going solo. Oh, Fane, you're such a slut. That's Let's see. Sports. Here's Let's a beast. Up, you and me. What do you say? Decline. Eh, suit yourself, then. He drags a comb through his beard. His face bears the scars of a hearty life, but his whiskers glisten as if glazed by the morning dew. Are you ready? Who are we missing? Losa? Sibyl I killed. Samadal. There's something to these doors I'm not seeing. Trade anything? But what? Oh wait, can There's she identify? Some clue. Nope. Dallas would have Hey! You're here! Pretty nice boat, eh? There's gotta be another way to get it going. But we can't find a way into Dallas's room. Maybe you can see something we can't. I know how to get in, but not quite yet. Speak to me if you're looking for hired help. I've got good fighters of every stripe. They know how to keep their mouths shut too, as long as there's gold in it. So, what'll it be? Uh, yeah, I'm taking my leave. I'm not gonna hire any. That's mercenary lady. You can hire mercenaries to basically fight with you. I never actually did that. No, actually, I have done it once. It's just, um, yeah, just random people that, um, you know, you can choose to build just like yourself. Pretty handy if you want to go that route and you don't want to do any of the um, story telling people. Losa. Let's hold off on this. This is a mirror where you can change your gear and your outfits and all that. Respect yourself, basically. Which we're not going to do. I like to uh, have permeance to my characters. And if I make a mistake on them or something, then you know, just got to deal with it. That's how it goes. Not the same as saves coming. Anything in any of these crates? Hey, there we go. Another lucky charm. Success right there. That's why Lucky Charm is awesome. You could just have a couple points into it and you'll get a lot of really, you know, I mean, it might not be the greatest gear, but, you know, you'll get a lot of stuff that you can then sell or whatever. One to Pyrokinetic. And we got our panties. It smells like this particular pair of mess. This more than one laundry day. Well, can I wear this on my helmet? My face? No. Damn. Oh yeah, you can also have the option to not show your helmet if you want. I like the helmets, and I like the art of the the um, models and stuff of the armor. So I always like to wear them. All right, let's do this. The door seems like any door, at least at first. Then you notice it's unblemished wood. There is no knot, no scratch, no dent to detract from its apparent perfection. Raise your fist to knock. Reach for the doorknob. Mystic, you sense something more here. A presence. Place your palm against the door. Scholar, the old text spoke of doors like these. 
disputostisiums. Disputostisiums. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's a fake word. <laughs> they were called. I could be wrong, I don't know. Place your palm against the door. Let's do the mystic. The wood groans and creaks. A face appears in the wood, tortured and tormented. A six-sided indentation is carved on its forehead, as if a gem or amulet had made a mark there. The face vanishes. Um... Uh. State the password, fortitude. The door remains closed. It seems you need more than a password to open it. What? Okay, let me see here a second. Okay. Sorry about that. I blow my nose. Allergy season is here. Um, let's see if we can go to the other one. I don't think it does anything different. Seems like any door. But the wood groans and creaks. A face. The face oh, the gym. The door stays red. Okay, yeah, we have to get the gym from. Oh, I think we get it from Alexander. That's right. So we do go this way. A young woman shifts her weight between her feet as though swaying her hips to an imaginary beat. She rubs her forehead, her face tight with concern. Her eyes roll up to meet yours, their great black pupils greater and blacker than seem natural, expanding further as they take you in. She smiles, and the worry melts from her face. Hey, it's you! Well, 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 we meet again. They told me you'd mosey your way down here eventually. Ask her what she means by they. Ask her about her eyes. They're frightfully, frightfully dark. Gesture from your, from your head down your frame with a flourish and tell her you're here. Yes, do that. Well, hello there, mister. What was your name again? I'm Losa. She wipes a grubby hand on her tunic and holds it out for you to shake. Shake her hand heartily and tell her your name. Shake her hand, tell her your name, and peer closely at her. Losi, you don't know what that name from somewhere? You, don't you know that name from somewhere? Recoil from her black-nailed hand and tell her your name from a safe distance. Eh, shake her hand heartily. Very, very, very pleased to meet you. So, Malady tells me you're like me. Um, uh, you know. Uh. Finish her sentence. Godwoken, say nothing. Allow her to finish. Just say nothing. Godwoken. Is it true? You're like me. Nod. You say you, say you guess that means she met one of the gods as well. Tell her that's your business, not hers. Tell her you've been told as much, and you've no an interesting new power to prove it, too. Nod. Well, kind of. You know about my, uh, situation, right? Shake her head, ask her to remind you. Um, currently a playing host to an entity, right? Something that lives in her head, yeah. Right, exactly. I thought it was, well, nothing. More of the same, a sprite, a spirit. But it's a lot more powerful than I imagined. Malady said I should have met one of the gods when I had my vision in the Hall of Echoes, but I didn't. I met it. Tell her that sounds very serious. Whatever is possessing her is powerful enough to invade the realm of the gods. Ask if she's sure she wasn't hallucinating. Perhaps whatever's in her head is playing mind games. Say you're surprised Malady let her aboard. That sounds dangerous. Eh, it sounds super serious. I know. It's really... Uh, special. I don't know what this thing is. But I'm going to get it the hell out of my head and make it sorry it ever came knocking. What's your deal? Say you've spoken to one of the sevens themselves. You intend to be their champion as best you can. Say you have a mission you intend to fulfill. Your deal? You're just trying to survive. Eh, I've spoken to the seven. I'm impressed, Chief. Sounds like no small feat. You know, I never was much of a solo artist. Want to find out what comes next, you know, together? Eh, uh, no. Sure, whatever suits you. Probably better for you in the end anyway. I'm not always myself, and sometimes not myself is a bit, uh, unpredictable. Anyway, see you around. Alrighty then. Where she go? Magister Ranley the Seeker flexes her arms stiffly. Her joints audibly pop. She see- I owe you, Godwoken. <laughs> Without your help, I'd likely still be a prisoner around here, not guarding Alexander the Bloody Divine himself. She nods her thanks and immediately winces, laying her hand on the back of her neck. Tell her to open the gate. 
You want to find out if the prisoners know how to get the ship moving. Stare through the bars at Alexander's unconscious form and note that the Seekers have a valuable bargaining chip. Note that she seems to be in some pain. She was injured during the taking off the ship. Cast your eye around and ask if this is where the Magistrates kept the Seeker prisoners locked up. Let us note the pain. I wish. No, the Magistrates kept me chained to the bulkhead. Arms held above me head, feet barely able to touch the deck. Now my joints are paying a price. Hmm. Cast your eyes around. No. They had us down below, chained up in the dark. But the Reds were up to something in here. Maybe it was just the lack of food and rest playing tricks. But I swear I heard chanting and uh, horrible moaning coming from here. But when we broke free, it was empty. Stare through the bars and note that the Seekers have a valuable ring. Big bloody target on our backs. We took their leader and their flagship. The hammer won't stand for that. Should be hunting for us. Ask about the other Magister prisoner. Is she in one important? The Seeker throws a toxic look at the imprisoned Magister. Hardly. She's just some deckhand. If it were up to me, I'd tie her to the main mast and use her for arrow practice. But Malady wants her alive for now. Ew, you're a dark one. Tell her to open the gate. Good luck getting anything out of either of them. Our special guest is out cold. And the other one ain't in much of a talking mood. Say so that you have to try and demand that she unlock the cage. All right then, just... Don't make me regret it. Kill everyone! <laughs> nah. We just want to talk. Useful. Hey, guys. Hey, friends. You. The young Magister paces around the brig, fussing over Alexander's unconscious form. She leans over and applies a damp cloth to his brow. She notices you observing her. She straightens her back and sets her jaw in a defiant scowl. Magister Randy, Corcus mate of the Divine Eminence vessel, Lady Vengeance. That's all the information I'm giving to any of you lot. So stow your questions. Say, say that they need to get the ship moving. Now, she must know something. Tell her that you're no seeker, but they're always grateful to those who help them. If she knows how to get the ship moving, they might look more kindly on her. Note that she must be shocked to find herself tending to the, to the divine himself. Take your leave. Let's do number three. Ranley, Corker's mate. Lady Vengeance. Number two. Magister Ranley, Corker's mate of the... Diplomatically raise your hands and say that she doesn't have to tell you anything yet. She just has to listen. Tell her to shut the hell up and listen for a moment. Her life depends on it. We're going the diplomatic route. The Magister falls silent, but stares at you with unwavering defiance. Alright, declare that it's simple. Either she tell you what she knows now, or you'll have to start playing rough. Claim that you overheard Malady declaring she'd have no choice but to execute the prisoner if she wouldn't help them. Point to Alexander and tell her that she ought to not she ought not antagonize their captors, or she could wind up with the divine's blood on her hands by proxy. Say that the seekers aren't bad, they just want to go home. If she helps them do that, she'll be free in no time. And uh, Constitution. There's a shift in the Magister's expression, a flicker of doubt. Then I'm a good Magister, loyal. But Dallas, something about her has changed. She's toying with dark magic. Like a common sorcerer. She used to... To sing to the ship. It let her control it. She had this old book of hymns and incantations. It was only ever in her hands, or else locked away in her cabin at the stern. That's all I know. Yeah, the stern's the front, bow's the back, starboard's right, port's left, That's right? right? Didn't you? Ha! I knew you would eventually. Come on now, Magister Constance, Rand. don't be rude. She looks pretty Thank awesome, though. Now, Red. The bell can't be unrung. That armor is pretty dope. I like the green. She has like a huge bay. Or is that oh, it's an axe? Huh. All right, Alexander. Let's see what you up Master to. Master Randy, Corker's mate. Too late for that now, Red. The bell can't be unrung. He's a funky looking guy. Kind of cool armor. You spoke, didn't you? Get away from him, sorcerer. That's the divine. Point out that she's alone, unarmed, and there's a ship full of seekers who'd happily throw her overboard. She's in no position to be making demands. Tell her to back away. You have important matters to attend to. Um. Memory. All right. Don't harm him. I'll be watching. And you're what? Bishop Alexander lies supine on a bare wire cot. Though unconscious, his eyes are only half closed. His swollen jaw hangs open at an odd angle. Get a good look at his face. Inspect his hands. Look closely at his simple regalia. 
Look closely at his simple regalia. A beautiful six-sided gem rests on the bishop's chest, hung round his neck by an ordinary oiled rope. Slip the gem from around his neck, place it in your pocket. The gem sits heavily in your pouch. Take your leave. Um, where's the? Uh, does the gem actually show up here? Now it ain't you. Bishop Alexander lies super. The Magister leans in and whispers urgently. If you ever find yourself face to face with Magisters, you tell them I was tortured. I didn't betray the cause. Not until I was near death. Understand? Yeah, we'll see. Depends on how I feel. Okay, so we got the gem now. We can place that in the door. You can put a price on the warriors I have behind. Yeah, look at all the goodies back there. The door is still unmarked, though the memory of the face and its six-sided notch remains. Hold the gem you look, took from Alexander towards the door. The anguished face appears once more. It dips its forehead towards you and waits. Hold the gem to the six-sided shape carved in the figure's forehead. A shudder of pleasure racks the figure in the door. It seems to breathe. All of a sudden, all anguish is gone. It gives you the sternest of looks. I am summoned. Speak the password. Say you don't know the password, knock loudly upon the door, state the password fortitude, hold up the gym, point out that you have the gym. Password. Yes. And yes again. The word is spoken. Welcome <coughs> to the state room. Thank you kindly. Go ahead and save it here. Let's see. Can I get in this one too? Or do I have to I think I have to open it from the inside? For security reasons, please keep this door closed. Okay. All right, let's head on inside. We have to meet uh, our buddy Tarquin over here, who's an interesting fellow, as well as like a million things to loot in here. Clo Enter. Close the door. Enter. Enter. Oh, come on, I can't close it. Enter. It's in my way. I need the potions. Look at all these goodies. I mean, I guess I don't need them, but, you know. Um, are these good quality? Taking them anyways. Everything is mine. Oh, mine. Um, I don't want those. Ooh, that, wow, 250 gold for that. 70 for that, I'll take it. Not a problem. Okay, there's this strange gym. I think I could sell that. Once I, yeah, I don't think I need it anymore after opening the door. We'll see. Lots of new potions, which is cool. Just hey. one more moment. Identify, identify. Actually, I should probably make friends with him because he's going to be with us for a while. Let's give him uh, 200 gold. Ooh, not quite enough yet. Here we go. Alright, dude. Let's identify some stiff. Identify, identify, identify. Nope, oh, don't need that. Is that everything? Quite a bit, not too shabby. <clears throat> one to retribution, one to sneaky, no thanks. Shield we're not gonna use. One to constitution, two to wits. Um Wow. Oh, that's a strength one and that's a finesse one. That's the difference. Other than that, they're exactly the same. What are the odds of that? Well, I'm gonna I'll, I'll go ahead and take that. I don't want that, I don't want that. One to intelligence, two to pyrokinetic. No, I'm going to keep mine. Summoning is better. Alright, well, let's... 
Let's go ahead and swap this stuff out before we trade. He clicks together two halves of some type of gauntlet sitting in his lap and turns his full attention to you. A curious smile plays across his lips as he takes you in. An undead, eh? Wonders never cease aboard this vessel. Ah, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Especially when it comes to their rescuers. To whom do I owe my thanks? Say that you and your compatriots have seized the ship from the magisters and demand to know who he is. Ask what he's doing. Is that armor he's working on? Reach for your weapon. Remark that he doesn't seem all that alarmed to find himself facing an undead. Yes, dead. I see no cause for alarm. I'm not some uneducated simpleton, you know. Ask what he's doing. Armor? Such a limiting word, but yes, it serves that purpose, amongst others. Dallas has been keeping me prisoner here, but I try to keep working on my own projects when I can. Point out that prisoners aren't usually held in the master cabin. Why was he here? Ask what Dallas did to him. Tell him that his ship is mobile. Does he know what might be causing that? The gauntlet he's working on. Is it a magister piece? Something that he took from them? He spent time with Dallas. Ask what he can tell you about her. Yeah, that's that. Despite what she did to me, I can't help but admire the woman a little. She's unwavering. She will break before she bends. If you cross paths with her, be sure to break her. I doubt you will get another chance. Point out that the prisoners aren't usually held in the master cabin. Why was he here? Well, that's ask, actually that's what D Dallas did. Why torture? What else? <clears throat> he extends his arm and pushes up the sleeve. Beneath, the skin is withered and discolored, as if it were magically decayed. She used some form of domination device on me, forcing my hands to do her bidding, and I've ruined them in the process. Express your sympathies. Ask what sh exactly she had him do. Express my sympathies. Well, the situation is looking immeasurably better now. You'll hear no more complaints from me. So why don't you tell me all about my valiant rescues? To whom do I owe my thanks? Tell him that's none of his business. Say that you're just an escapee and that you're lucky to have made it this far. Announce yourself as no less than the future savior of Riverland. And just say I'm an escapee. Just be humble. You undersell yourself. The roster of those who stood up to the magisters and lived to tell the tale is a short one. I ought to continue what I'm doing here. Unless there was anything else? Ask him about the gauntlet. Took it? No, no. I made it. Have you seen the kind of metalwork the Magisters deploy? This is in a different class to them. As I said, the Magisters left me weakened. This will help give me the strength to carry on my work. Yeah, ask what Dallas had him do here. I have particular skills that she sought. Healing, crafting, and more arcane magical practices. She had me enchant a dead cat, for instance, so it would seem alive. He clicks the gauntlet into place around his withered forearm, his eyes on you the whole time. Here's the dead cat. For that damn contraption that she used on me. It seems to have fogged my memory. The rest is a blur. Just like to point out the lighting in here is really awesome. You see the god rays right there. And just the, the whole room is really cool, like the architecture, the furnishings and stuff. It's really nice, really good aesthetic, really cool art style, especially with this mural thing up here. It's really neat with that desk. Dig it, really dig it. But I love lighting in video games, like really well done lighting is kind of a weakness for me. And this is pretty awesome. Remark that memory loss is very convenient. There must be more. He enchanted a dead cat. Say that it sounds like necromancy to you. Take your leave. Hey, number two. No, necromancy is an unsavory practice. Surely you, above all, understand that. Dragged back from your slumber to live some sort of half-life. The cat is a cunning illusion that I devised. Nothing more. Yeah, it's not too bad. His face abruptly creases into a smile. But come now, enough of Dallas and dead cats. You've taken this ship and granted my freedom. This is a happy moment. Tell him to hold on. You're not done with your questions. What else did he do for Dallas? Remark that even the most learned of people, or learned of people, tend to recoil upon seeing an undead. Is he sure that he had no experience in necromancy? Yeah. Quite Let's push sure. No, I can hardly be held under suspicion for being enlightened. Wouldn't you agree? Tell him to I'm hold on. I'm I cannot tell you what I do not remember. Could you pass me a cup of wire just there? Hold out the wire out of reach and say that you want to hear a proper ending to his story first. Pass him the wire. Let's let's push him. An unseen force yanks the copper out of your grasp. Tarquin catches it and offers you a thin smile. Yeah. Right. Butterfingers? <laughs> I love this guy. I'm afraid I truly can't remember anything. 
Now, unless there's something else you want, I need to get back to my work. Say that you don't believe him, shrug and turn to other matters. I don't believe him. I'm doing my utmost to be civil to you, under rather trying circumstances. Why must you push me like this? Declare that you can sense he has secrets. That makes him dangerous in your eyes. Shrug and state that trusting strangers is a good way to wind up dead in your view. Note that you've already seen him use telekinesis. Who knows what else he might be capable of. Um... One or three, one or three. Let's do three. An active imagination. Overheated even. Perhaps you should let this matter rest. Your blood is up after your adventure. I don't have blood. You wouldn't want to do anything rash. Alright, then the seekers trust you and I shall too. I offer my hand in friendship. I don't like the look of him, so I'm afraid this time has come. Yeah, we're gonna keep him around. He takes your hand in He's, his gauntlet. He gets good gear. And shakes it. There's a lot more power in his grip than his slender frame would suggest. Call me Tom, and consider me at your service. Remark that you think there's more to his story. He can trust you if there's something he wants to get off his chest. Say that you're letting matters lie for now, but you still have your doubts. Know that he seems to be a skilled craftsman. Is there anything he'll be willing to trade? Let's go number one. We're barely acquainted. Why should I tell you anything personal? Say that you're all in the same boat, so to speak. It'd be better if you all knew you could rely upon each other. Remark that Dallas put him through a lot. If he wants revenge against her, then he'd be wise to be honest with his new allies. You could all help each other. Return to other murders. Yeah, number two. A flicker of hesitation crosses Tarquin's face. He glances down to his wasted limbs. You're most persistent. Perhaps our past will pit us both against the hammer. We will see. But don't claim me as an ally just yet. My allies tend to die. Well, at least he's a little honest there. Say that his reluctance to talk about himself makes you doubt that he's trustworthy. Note that he seems to be a skilled crack. And should I do number one? I'm gonna save it here. Save scum just in case I do number one. There's likely not a soul aboard this ship without secrets they'd rather keep hidden. Why should I face more scrutiny than the rest? Tell him it's just a feeling and that you hope you're wrong for everyone's sake. Scowl and tell him to shut it and just count himself lucky that you decide not to act against him. Scala, remark that he seems like a clever sort. Surely you must appreciate why unanswered questions about him continue to bother you. Nor mystic, claim that you sense an aura to him. Dark deeds carried out by his hands. Let's do scholar. Unanswered questions are a challenge, my friend. Where's the fun and easy answers? If you're so convinced that I'm hiding something, come up with a hypothesis. Then we can talk. Return to other matters. Note that he seems to be a skilled craftsman. Okay, um, well, let's go back and get this all sorted. For starters, we will put these here just so I know which ones I took off the hot bar. And then put them in their proper place on the potion side. Um, okay, there's a constitution, air resistance, and physical armor. Ooh, that's a good one. 125 physical armor, not bad. Okay, rest auto sort and then I can put these in with I'm gonna sell that one and put the rest of these with the potions and clear up some of this inventory space over here all right now let's trade out what we want to trade out I'm thinking we are going to put on that um, yeah this I think I'd rather have the armor right now it's not yeah because there's only a difference in three magic armor but there's a ton of difference in physical armor pretty much over double so that's a good upgrade um the rings i don't think are going to be any good what about did i get that fire trap up there okay can i put is there a place to put traps but it, okay grenades and traps yeah keep this all organized um keep my panties there Okay, we gonna keep these around too. Clean this up. Alexander's journal, I'll just save this. I don't know why I'm saving that stuff, but whatever. Empty potion bottle. Put that with the regular potions. Okay. Don't think I'm gonna get any of that. I mean Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Alexander's cloak. Should I keep this around just... I'm going to keep this around just for the two to strength. Because when I get encumbered, it could be as full and it's only weighs one pound. So, or one kilogram or whatever. Um, keeping that. Okay. 
think that should be it. I thought I had more to trade out. We want this teleportation. Like a we want the disarming kit. Come in handy. And let's go ahead and get the rest of the potions in here. Empty potion bottles. Hey, one to finesse. All right. Let's put you over here. Getting a little full here. Um, probably put the pyramid on the third tab because I'm not going to really use that that often. Pyramid's really cool. You'll see. Go with the grenades right here. Um, where is my armor? There we go. Get my gloves. Put those on. They switch out. If I switch them out from the hot bar, does it go back into the... Oh yeah, it sends it back in there. Okay. I mean, that's okay, I guess. Or is it? No, I should probably keep it in here because I don't want to have to keep opening this up every single time. All right, what else can we... I'm going to get rid of that. All right, so let's just finish scouring this DF. Glass of wine. Empty potion bottle. That looks awesome. Look at that. Really neat stuff. Really pretty stuff. Silver cup. Let's read the letter. Draft from the desk of Dallas the Hammer. Be warned. Subsequent to the bloody atro atrocity committed at Bassan, shall all seekers be stripped of the titles and privileges once afforded to them as members of the Divine Order. <clears throat> Their mistake must not be repeated. Note to self. Leave Meister and Driftwood. This is enough. Are they sure they want to take her out? She's pretty beefy. Anything else I can get rid of here? Let's go. Let's read the tome. The book is written in what appears to be an ancient dialect of the lizards. Its contents can be understood by few, but it might be possible to recite it phonetically. Zer, 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 zer. Do I have to take it? I think I have to take it. I can't remember. Read. Grandma Hillary's book on humans makes for interesting reading. While well, acknowledging humans as obvious physical limitations, he considers that race to be the most intelligent, intellectual, ingenious, versatile, resourceful, audacious, and adventuring of all the peoples. Well, he is a human, so no wonder. While many of his claims may be deemed correct, it must be noted that Hubert himself is a human. Oh, see, told you. The trait overconfident should be perhaps be added to the list. Indeed. You silly, silly man, Hubert. All right, another talent. Medium healing potion. Ooh, pitcher worth a lot. Ooh, glass worth a lot. And let's read these notes. Medical log from the desk of Niles, house physician. Oh, this dude. Round one, normal staff purging applied to sorcerer. Result typical. Round two, normal staff purging applied to non-sorcerer. Result death. Modified staff. Okay, so it's just... Need stronger relic. Technological modification equals failure. Handwritten note curls across the bottom. All right. I'm going to keep that. Oh, more goodies. All right. Lumberjack magicians. An instruction manual written by a lumberjack mage. Daughter of a lumberjack mage on how to make the best parchment. If you skip to the end, you will find that the secret is this. Wood chips, whether found as they are, cut with an axe, water, and a container, of course, fire for drying. All righty. Dr. Cat. No. Oh. I click and clack as I stalk my prey. My tail rattles like a snake's. I suffer. Stroke the cat's head and ask how it came to be undead. Ask the cat if it would like you to put out of its misery. Ask if it is Dallas's cat. Tell the poor cat you understand it all too well. Yeah. Fie. No one understands me. Me miserable. Ask if it's Dallas's cat. Mumsy? Is she here? Mumsy, where are you? Tis I Bear. I am quite changed, but don't be frightened. Dallas calls her cat Boopley Bear. 
I guess she is a little bit of human, or she has a little bit of humanity. Just stifle a laugh. <laughs> there is no shame in being ridiculous in the name of love. That's yeah, true. Tell it, Dallas sent you. She asked you to get the ship moving. Tell the cat Dallas isn't aboard. Tell Dallas sent me. You? She sent you? The cat begins to purr and rub itself on your ankles. Any friend to Mumsy is a friend to me. I believe the song is around here somewhere. Raise an eyebrow. What song does she mean? Or does he mean? It doesn't sound like it. He asks where you should look. Ask if it can tell you about the moving ship. Uh, raise an eyebrow. The song, of course. Trouble not my weary mind with dunsery. Thank the cat and scritches skeletal neck. The cat purrs an eerie clicking sound. Tell Mumsy to come back soon. Now that I am but bone, I'm too light to trip the moving door. I'm sure there's a rat back there. Which way shall I fly? Infinite wrath and infinite despair. I myself am a hell. Nothing to be jealous of. Honestly. <laughs> All right, let's take all these goodies. More goodies. What's this? Pages in learning their calls. In the left foot column, a series of words in an unfamiliar language. In the middle column, a series of common words. In the right, really. Okay. Read. I'll understand this ranger rhyme correctly. If I understand this ranger rhyme correctly, these verses seem to claim that you can carve a stunning arrowhead from a tooth worth a try, even if it turns out to be gibberish. I'll chip a tooth, I'll cut a molar, I'll tell you I can cut them up if you're the donor. I'll shape them sharp, I'll carve them spiky into an arrowhead that's also very likely. To stun the foe, to shock the rival, they will be floored so you can run for your survival. Right on, right on. Not a bad jam. No, don't pick it up. I don't want it. Thick book. Must never forget that all citizens of the realm have an equal stake in its success and ought to, never to be subjugated to the will of the few and especially not to that of a tyrant. There is not a monarch alive who has not, by sheer force of nature, been removed from the cares and concerns of his or her citizens. Thus, there is not a monarch alive who deserves his or her position. If what I say is true, you may wonder how it is all possible to govern. If the act of governing itself corrupts, my answer is very simple, that the people rule. But then the people will be the governed. Aren't governors, I should say. How is that supposed to work? Get out of my work! Too much stuff to read. No, I don't want the book. I wanted the skull. Another Hubert thing. And you should, you know, pages lined with formula and geometric drawings dotted with tiny sums of figures. Okay, well, get rid of that. Grenadiers thing. An old bunch of papers about grenades. It urges the reader to experiment with usual unusual suspects such as glass shards and elemental essences such as fire. Good advice. This is why you always want to be reading everything you get your hands on. Oh, hey. Got a new air um, wand. 100% chance to electrify surfaces. Not too shabby. Doesn't really have any uh, good, other good decent stats, but I'll take it. How much is that plate? Yeah, whatever. From a series of easy to memorize nursery rhymes comes this pearl. Fly agaric, white and red. Show, should you eat it, you'll drop dead. Mix it, brew it, and potions distill. Then coat your weapon. Kill, kill, kill. So that is a poison thing, I'm assuming. Could be wrong, could be right. Who knows? How much is that worth? 280. Okay. I gotta go pick up that other one. Yeah, sweet, same one. All right, let's quick save it before we get it too crazy here. All right, another book. This book is unreadable. Good to know. Oh, I can't pick this lock. Why am I even trying? I don't know. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Uh, I guess I'll pick that up. 554 small strong box. Okay, I think my... Carnet can handle that pretty easily. Give him hell, boy. Attack. 
No strong box is too strong for the incarnate. I'm hitting for 81 now. Not too shabby. Alright. Gold and a diary. Let's read that diary. Oh boy, is a lot. Pages and pages of undated diary entries fill the well-cared-for yet well-worn tome. Of course, I'd like to think that this makes sense because all of this is for nothing if I lose my head. The only thing I can count on to guide me is my good sense. Without that, I'm no better than them. Is it really as mad as it seems? We're so alike. There's a kinship there I've never felt before. I suppose history would paint me the same way it painted him if I don't succeed. Dallas the tyrant, Dallas Rex. Power is important. I said it to him in one form, and he said it back to me in another. Power is necessary in order to do great things, worthy things, the only worthy thing. He knew that, and so did I, and heads break along the way. But in those shock waves, something invaluable shakes loose. I've never met anyone who understands this. What I wouldn't give to open those bars and go and sit beside him, look straight into his eyes. I bet I'd see my own reflection in them. Open those bars? Who's he talking about? Is she talking about... Can't be talking about Alexander, right? What am I waiting for? Toward the end of the diary, one entry stands out. It is written in large, unkempt print. The same hand as before, but not the same mood. Amazing. He's seen so much more in me than I even knew to look for. The form he has shown me. Hard to believe I ever believed my wings were figurative. Alrighty. I'm a little confused, but kind of, sort of, not really. Alright, there should be the switch around here. What's this? I found something. What can I put on it? Is that heavy enough? No. I need something heavier. Bucket. Nope. Nothing's heavy. There's no way I can pick this up, can I? Okay, I can. Watch out. <laughs> You face chef maneuvers. Everything get out of my way, please. Dude, you are standing right where I need to put this. How can that not be heavy enough? Okay, um. Like, I mean, like, maybe my incarnate's heavy enough? Even my incarnate isn't heavy enough. Are you serious? Okay, there has to be something heavy enough that I can put there. What is my strength at? 14. E That's gonna annoy me. Like, maybe I, I know what I can do. I can pick up a barrel. This is the intrigue of this game. Put that there while I'm at it. And get rid of you. So what you can do, a good way to do this, put the barrel down, open it, and then just fill it up with a bunch of crap. So like heavy stuff. Problem is, I don't really have a lot of heavy stuff. I mean, you could just put, like, everything in it that I get, you get. And all my stuff is light. Maybe there's like some oil barrels or water barrels that might be better. Or just other barrels. No water barrels? Is there anything in here to take? What the heck? Alright, let's go upstairs. There has to be something in here I can heavy, I can grab. How much is this way? I oh, can't even pick it up. Um, uh, 
I'm not seeing. Okay, there's a chest in here. Maybe it has some some weight to it. No. Pick up. How much does it weigh? Fifty. Okay, that might be good. Let's go see if we can do that. Add another fifty pounds to it. So this is like a, a, a cheating way, a cheating tactic. I mean, not cheating. The game is just designed to do that. So there we go. Now that we have the extra weight in the barrel, it will actually push down the thing and I can hit the button. So awesome. Now we can go get our stuff back. Leave the chest in there. We're not going to need that. Can't just die. <laughs> okay. Plated gloves. Here's some money. How much does that weigh? 200? Or 20? <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat is itching excessively now. Must drink water. Ah, I gotta love allergies. Oh no. That's fine. We're gonna sell a bunch of stuff to what's his face. Another button. And then this is why we have we're gonna keep uh, this around. There we go, magically not encumbered anymore. <clears throat> if I didn't know any better, I think you were taking a shine to me. You're I am. All right, let's just get rid of everything. Don't need any of this crap. I didn't sell what's her name's amulet, did I? That would be bad. All right, uh, get rid of you. Get rid of you. All these rings we don't need. And don't need that. Keeping that. Definitely keeping that. Um, anything else? All these books are kind of crap. I'm going to keep that for the first aid. Get rid of these paintings. And maybe I can purchase something from them. Two to Hydrosophus, one to Necromancer, one to Constitution. No. But the belt. One to Constitution. No. Nothing good here, really. Uh, one to summoning. Can switch that out with the Geomancer. Do I want to do that? Um, I know we were going to keep that around for a little while, but now I'm thinking... You know what? Screw it. Let's go with the, the, the summoning one. Then we can get more... St like, stuff sold here. Okay, so I just need, like, what, 40... Anybody have some cheaper stuff? This makes po poison um, potion, so kind of keep that around. Uh, I guess I'll just even it out. Yeah. Why not? Really? Source orbs are really nice. Are using place of ring are using it. Um, venomous aura, cleanse wounds, evasive aura. Wow, those are worth a pretty penny. That's fine. We don't need those yet. We don't need anything really. So let's switch this back out. That's why I'm gonna keep this Alexander's cloak around. <clears throat> And where's that ring? Switch this out with the Geomancer ring. And... I guess that's it for now. Need to... Oh yeah, it was also going to sell that potion, but... Doesn't have any more money. I just cleared them out. How much do I have? 10,372. Not bad. Okay. 
Let's go and do the fight down here real quick. We have to fight her geists. These guys are not weak. <laughs> they are very tough. Um, so, you know, you gotta be kind of careful here. What's a good way to do this? Um, uh, I think they're gonna dash on me if I'm not mistaken. So maybe I should just focus one real quick. Probably this one. If I keep my front to them, hopefully they won't be able to um, do a crit against me. Because they will, like, they'll do the dash behind you. The scoundrel dash and, like, crit you from behind and, like, wreck you. They do so much damage. Alright, and, uh, you go over there. Just slow them down at least. And then smack you. They're probably going to dash out of it, but oh, at least that one's walking. Now he's going to dash. Backlash. There you are. Look at that damage. Jesus. So painful. Alright, so I definitely got to do that. And we're going to put a totem up. And we are going to do that. Do that. And I'm just going to buff the crap out of me. Could use the dome of protection, but I hope for luck we won't need it. And then focus on him. Yeah. Owie. Owie, I'm diseased. Okay, so I can at least entangle this guy so he can't come over here. See, he just like knocked out my armor in a couple of hits, but I got, I got scrolls. It's okay. We are going to live, you guys. We are going to live. And we're going to do more oil totems. And then, um, let's do this potion as well. Get some decent, all right, 337 armor, not too shabby. Ah, oh, come on. He's entangled. He shouldn't have been able to dash out of that. See that? He just literally, like, one sh like <laughs> one shot as in regards to turns. My, um, my guy, which is insane. So, that sucks. Uh, we're gonna have to... Do another one over here. Oil. And then try to do as much damage to this guy as we can, which isn't a lot. And wondering if I could. Yeah, I'm gonna use this other one because I'm going to get my butt kicked here. Oh, come on. He's using Death Witch. And another backstab. We gotta get this guy dead. Um, man, my damage sucks so bad with the wands. Gonna have to get that dual wands up. But it's okay, we're gonna make it. down and he's still entangled so he won't be able to come over here at least oh come on don't attack the stupid spiders attack him please attack him all right and heal up spiders aren't really a big threat right now What I need is my armor. And I'll just end it here. 
I'm just gonna focus on me or the totems. Not me. That's right, you should be dead next turn. Unless they keep focusing on the stupid spiders. <laughs> Where are you going? Squeaky, 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 squeaky. Where are you going? Oh, come on, stop focusing on the spiders. And this will do it. These guys are super strong, but not as strong as the summoner. <laughs> and another oil totem just in case. Yeah, that should be it. And he misses. Really? Or victims. I don't know, man, but they're tough. Interesting fight. Dangerous fight. But if you... Now you'll see this this uh, teleporter pyramid right here. You realize that I have this, so if I click on this, boop, it just passes me right over there. So no matter where this is, <clears throat> excuse me, where this is in the game, you can use it to teleport. So... Not the biggest thing when it comes to playing solo, but you can use it like if you just want to, if, you, if you're going to, like, I'm going to use it in Driftwood, for instance. I mean, there's a waypoint in Driftwood, so I guess it's kind of pointless, but, like, if there's a place that you have to go that's far away that doesn't have a waypoint near it, and you're going to be going back there a couple times or even just once, then you can just leave your pyramid and then, um, you know, just teleport back. You know, easy peasy. I already read this. Okay, so other than that, there's not really anything else in here worth getting out of the thing. Oh, hey. Key. That's worth getting. Uh, get all this crap out of here. And let's look at that right there. At least I actually am able to use some of these scrolls finally most of the time they just sit there an old key now, now to find what it can unlock this might have been dallas's chest thing that i broke open it's probably what that went to i can't remember either way we're okay in the key department oh wait we gotta get rid of you where am i gonna put you grenade put you right there get rid of all these grenades potions i'm gonna keep you there because i want to sell you uh, potion and grenade jar of maggots makes like mind control grenades which is kind of cool but maybe I'll keep that around do that make a couple mind control grenades I just never use them as you guys have probably noticed logbook Madam, as requested, I have carried out through trials on the impish pyramids, thorough trials on the impish pyramids and have drawn the following conclusions using one pyramid teleports you to the other Connected entities will follow whoever has initiated travel. You can use a pyramid while holding it in your hand or interacting with it while it rests on the ground. Touching a pyramid isn't sufficient to use it. One must assess its other functions by another method. This is all I have discovered. Thus, you may assume that th this is all there is to discover about these particular re relics. Tarquin. Oh, Tarquin. My friend. Okay, I guess we can get out of here. We live... And you have anything if I to say? Any better, I think you were taking a shine to me. You're hardly out of my presence late. Okay, um, I think we're going to call it a day here. This is a really super long video. And next we are going to move the ship, which will initiate future, well, events, we'll just say. I'm trying to get, not to give away any spoilers for those who haven't played a game yet and just want to follow the story and whatnot. So we'll call it a day and hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, give it a like, share, subscribe if you are. Spread it around. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night, depending on where you are. This has been Jarek Defiler playing Divinity Original Sin 2. Have a good one.